Hello, you guys. Welcome back to Channel Claire. I hope that you're doing well wherever you are in this crazy, crazy world. Now, this was the video footage I was looking for, the video of Megan speaking Spanish. And it says that she is fluent in Spanish. And I'm just saying, anybody who knows, it, knows another language other than their native language is so impressive to me. Uh, I, I mean... It, just in school, we're taught it. We're given the opportunity. Some people take it seriously. Others don't. Like, I was one who did not take it seriously at all. Um, I actually was in a language program because I didn't want to go to the high school that was in my area and I wanted to transfer. So I got into a language program, took French for four years. Ask me how much I know. Ask me how to... <laughs> it's embarrassing. And then in college... I think I took like one year of Spanish, but that course was at like 8 a.m. It was 8 a.m. I don't remember what day, but regardless, it was 8 a.m. I don't know what I was thinking, scheduling that. I had a lot of faith in myself where I should have had none because uh, that was really hard getting to that class. Like I rarely got to that class. But anyway, we have Megan here speaking one, in my opinion, because I, I don't speak any other language, I think she's speaking wonderful Spanish. And I'm so sorry. The Princess of Wales could never, could never, would never, wouldn't even attempt it, wouldn't even. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And it, I understand the girl is in recovery. She's taking preventative steps so she doesn't get the cancer that I guess that she had that was removed. But now she's taking preventative care so that it stays gone. She's still in recovery. We really haven't heard anything as an update as to what's going on with her. I, I, I would guess they're not going to do any real work throughout the rest of the year. They haven't really given a plan of action or strategy. I guess they're still trying to figure that out as we're going into the back end of the year, I guess they just figured we're just going to shut the fuck up because every time they did try to put something out, they screwed it up and there was, you know, doctored and there was just always something hanky going on. Um, but they could, they just could never. And it sucks because literally Megan and Harry are out on doing these tours in place of the Royals, but they're technically not even within the fold, which is fine because they didn't want that. But it's like, they're doing what these two people who are paid, <laughs> essentially their lifestyle is set up to be doing this. And they're just like, not they're around sporting new beards, trying to act like they're cool and hip and down to earth now or something like uh, no, do something like I just, and then people get mad when they see Megan and Harry doing their thing. When it's like, Hey, this is what they were made to do. You can see it. It's clear. It's easy for them. It comes so naturally to them. They don't have to try. You can tell it's not forced and people get mad at them for doing things so well because they want to put them down in their place. And they're secretly mad that the people, the two they go up for aren't doing anything. So they have nothing to hit back with. So they just make up fantastical delusional shit that doesn't make sense. That only makes them look bad. So it's a whole twisted web of foolishness. And I think Harry and Megan are actually doing work that's they're trying to help many communities, whether it's mental health, the youth, uh, you know, women's, all of it. She has her hand in all of it, you know, so, or they do. So I just think that we're just going to continue to see them thrive and get better at this thing. Cause all you, you know, they're, all they're getting is experience under their belt and they're going to know how to do the next one better and do better on the next one. So they're gaining experience, knowledge, connections, networking, getting stronger than ever where they have international ties and shit. This is what the prince and princess of Wales should be doing. And they're not. And everybody can say, I understand she has the cancer, but we've seen her go to Wimbledon. We've seen her go to Trooping. We know she can do things in some aspects. And they could definitely adjust and cater to Kate. I know that they would, but like she's... It's just the strangest thing to see. And to then see them try to come and do it, like if, you know, the Prince and Princess of Wales 
say they try to do some type of tour, everyone's gonna feel like they're try they've copied William. Uh, well, they've copied uh, Harry and Meghan because they've now become the blueprint of what it is you should be doing on a royal tour or how working royals should act. <laughs> they've set the blueprint now. So now once they come out and try to do it, they're going to be in com comparison. And that's always been the issue is the comparison. And the fact that Meghan came in swept everybody off their feet. They thought this was going to be some naive, immature girl, didn't know what was up, whoop de woo And that definitely wasn't the case. She knew exactly what she was doing, a little too much, was coming to there to work. They were not used to it. Staff was getting all huffy. I could see it now. I could see it now because ugh, who is this girl coming in trying to tell me what to do, this American girl, mixed race girl? Oh, I could see it now. Even in my workplace, I feel like I get treated a type of way for being a woman and for being black. Like I, it's a thing. It is a thing. So I can imagine her coming into this space, this century old space. They have a way of doing things. This is a new scenario with Megan coming in and they're all shell shocked because they're used to things just being the same way over and over again. And they don't know what to do with it. So they got scared, pushed back against it instead of embracing it. And look what they could have had in their corner. Look what they could have had. So let's play a little bit of Megan speaking. Of the strong women that are around me, of course, my mother being one of them. Um, space where women's voices can be heard. I don't think that was the one. I think this was it. Hola. Yep, there we go. Muy buenas, muy buenas tardes. Me gustaría empezar en español. Sí. Natural. Uh, porque estamos en su país, y mi marido y yo, y puedo sentir este abrazo de Colombia. Y es wow. increíble. They hate it. Gracias. They muchas, could muchas never. Gracias porque la cultura, la historia, todo estaba como un sueño este viaje y perdona si mi español no está perfecto porque yo and even if it's something that she like brushed up with with a tutor she had someone come in and brush up on her skills you will have to already have some type of knowledge of the language to be able to pull off this in front of a group of people and have a seemingly natural speech and or conversation if you if she didn't have some type of foundation for Spanish language, she could not have pulled this off. I for sure am not going to be able to sit. Okay, and then especially with the accent. Oh my gosh, my accent is horrible. I cannot roll my R's. It's tragic. It is a tragedy. So she speaks it to me so eloquently and smoothly and slow. So you can kind of understand to take time to hear what it is she's saying should it be kind of off even if it is a little bit off which i'm sure people are going to try to come for her for like oh this word wasn't used correctly or this word wasn't used correctly and it's like i'd like to see you do it Y este es el sentimiento que es lo mejor del mundo ahora. Entonces, gracias, uh, Vice Presidenta, mi amiga. Muchas gracias. There you go. So the people who wanted to see it, who doubted it, who were saying this and another, we have video proof of Megan speaking Spanish and doing it well as she does many other things very well. And they're mad. Megan, speaking fluent Spanish in Colombia, the principles in that royal family must be the, oh, I'm not going to say all that, but like people do have strong feelings either way. And I don't say half the things that I could about the princess was, I, I, I feel like I keep things above bar. I just question ish that doesn't make sense. And then you like get made to feel bad about questioning stuff that clearly does not make sense. There was this TikTok that I thought was funny. Hold on. No. 
I actually absolutely get it. I totally understand where the royalists are coming from. Because can you imagine hating someone so much and they keep popping out like this? I would be sick. <laughs> so Megan is just using Harry. Like they don't really even love each other. This is a fake marriage. Man is in love. Right. Love like that Megan you can see it. You can see it. It is not a fake put on display. You can definitely see they like each other. They fuck with each other. You can tell when people don't. Like, in the other couple, it, it's just people, mm, they're so mad. And Marco doesn't have superpowers, where she uses all the hate she gets online. Exactly. To help fuel her you see how Megan's mole is the first account that comes up, because they're probably sitting over there in fucking shambles. Because they always try to, anything she does, they try to pivot and make negative, or they just trash it. They sit up in comments and just talk shit. We might posy on over there in a second just to see because this is why I've started doing these videos because I started seeing how people started talking about this woman that they do not know who literally did nothing but tried to get out of a fucked up situation or her husband took her out of a situation and they hate her for it like I, I can't understand it so to counteract it I kind of like to do these videos because it just does not make sense to me fountain of youth because i'm sorry the face card is absolutely platinum and the most amazing part about all of this is aside from just looking like the it couple, yes they're actually out there that little girl <laughs> they're actually out there helping people exactly. like how can you be so dark-hearted to hate this i looked through all the images of them at the school this little girl right here Stuck imprinted her on her and could not leave her side if the little baby girl is okay with megan I'm going to go ahead and say that Megan probably isn't this Wicked Witch of the West that you guys are making her out to be. I don't know. I'm just saying. But to have the absolute gall, audacity, Ooh. absolute delusion right. to look like this. Right. Looking like absolute on a woman that ogre. And dresses like this. Right. Haters. It's health, just hate. But the Delulu is at levels I have never seen before. So I'm gonna just keep on pushing. But all jokes aside, this is the real reason why the first- She forgot Nana. She forgot Nana. Nana needed to be in that photo montage of all the haters. Please put Nana up there because she does the absolute most. Firm and the royal family had to get Meghan Markle out of there. I hate to break it to all of you Meghan Markle haters. She is the people's princess. In your mind she reminds us of this. And we will continue to fight for her because all of y'all are so delusional to think that this educated, right. accomplished individual will bow down to your mocking of her online. <laughs> it's just simply not going to happen. Exactly. Like, it's just come the hell on and please get over it. At what point do you move on? Are y'all consistently going to do this? She's not in the royal family. Like, y'all literally could forget she exists. But as we spoke about yesterday, she is a money-making, like, business. Like, people make so much money off of her. Like, that guy who was on YouTube who got his shit demonetized, Trevor, Trevor Colt. We were speaking about him yesterday. How he was flipping out because he was demonetized for 23 months and he lost out on, like, 100,000 pounds. You can make money off of just trashing her because that's all his videos were. That was it. And they're just trying to live their life. Look at them. It's natural. You can see how the way he touches her, the little touches, like right here in this um, bottom photo, like just the way he caresses her, like, ooh, that's my laundry. Like the protective arm around her. People are mad that they don't have this themselves. So then they sit up and talk mad-ish. So they're talking about Megan's skirt. Let's go over to Megan's mole just to see how bad they're tripping. Just to, because I know they are. Megan's mole. Just a account dedicated to trashing Megan insane so 
The tension between Meghan and Markle and VP Francisca Marquez is so tense. Does Fran Francisca Marquez have buyer's remorse? Was it worth wasting Columbia taxpayers' money on Meghan Markle, a failed ex-cable TV mattress actress who only known because of the idiot prince she married? The vitriol, the hate, the pettiness, like it's seeping with fucking jealousy. This woman, VP Francisca, Francisca Marquez, invited Megan after she saw the Netflix documentary where they were talking about these issues and how poorly they've been treated in the media and the things they went through with the royal family. And she was touched and invited the two of them to do a tour in her country. No, there's no tension. They're not showing any type of video proof. They've shown a little short clip, 23 second clip, where you don't see any type of tension at all. You see Megan greeting people. You see the VP in the front here standing, looking, taking it all in. What tension? They make up shit. So let me go underneath the comments just to see. The VP looks really upset. May won't even look at her. She looks right past her. You've served your purpose. She's been markled. She deserves that for being so stupid. Who invites someone from a Netflix stock and spends millions on them? I hope she feels sick. Oh, I'm sure she's seen how Meghan Markle's behind the scenes at this point. Getting markled was not a on Francisca's bingo card. The Harkles will leave and VP has to stay and deal with the repercussions of so much wasted money haters just haters i could barf francisca marquez strikes me as a fangirl who has a political acumen of a pair of socks so now they start talking about the character of the woman because she felt some type of sympathy for megan and wanted to bring her to her country so now all of a sudden this woman doesn't know what she's talking about is so stupid uneducated even though she's vp okay <laughs> like she just got there by happenstance. Like, these people are ridiculous. And as I knew, they would be under here effing, tripping, making up ish. Because this is what her, her Latin friends know Meghan Markle is lying about learning how to speak Spanish in Argentina. Everyone knows Meghan Markle is lying. Again, I knew they'd have something to say, whether she learned it in Argentina, whether she learned it in a school, and a course on fucking Duolingo. She's speaking the fucking Spanish that you likely cannot. Why are people so mad? Please do tell me who does Prince Harry look the most comfortable with? His body is turned towards the other lady. While with Megan, he is facing forward and isn't even touching her. Trouble in paradise. What is she talking about? You see a man sitting there with his arm around his wife and then right here his arm on the chair in a relaxed stance or sitting arrangement i, I just people i'm gonna back i'm gonna back out because the foolishness phd and moon bumpology because remember that's another theory that they think that megan did not have her own child they question where megan and harry's children are and ask to see them and ask why they haven't been seen and pictured in this that or another asking about people's kids like that's not weird it's all a tragic 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 mess but i just had to get on here because that was actually what i was waiting for was the video of megan speaking spanish because i knew that i heard that that was happening and I was like, oh, that's cool, because I wish I took speaking another language seriously. I mean, I guess it's not too late. I feel like I have so many things that I want to do. And it's just like sometimes it becomes so overwhelming. It's like, OK, <laughs> I do nothing then. But I feel like I have to just pick something and start with something one day. And maybe it will stick. I don't know. Who knows? But I'm going to leave you guys with that it is sunday evening getting ready for the work week i'm gonna be back in the office after a week after i can cuss myself so this is gonna be interesting um i will be back in another video talking about other things i'm sure and until then bye bye